at the fourth one. So, so good. So please settle into your meditation posture, whatever that may be. And into your body, mind. So I know there's a few people who haven't been to these Zoom sessions before and it might feel a little bit strange to be sitting and meditating in front of a computer screen or perhaps in a place that you're not used to sitting, perhaps with the sense that there are people on the screen in front of you, watching you, sort of with you, but maybe not quite there. So just see how that feels with your eyes closed putting down those perceptions and just coming into contact with yourself. And noticing that you have a frame of reference in your own body, sitting on the cushion, on the chair, maybe on a sofa or a bed. And that with your eyes closed, you can really go inside your own little bubble. Yet maintaining that feeling of connection to everyone else who's here with us. Maybe only virtually, but I feel there's an energy when groups of people come together in meditation. very supportive energy of intention. All of us granting ourselves a moment of peace, an opportunity to be kind, to make friends with our experience, body and mind. So just gently noticing any feelings in the body You may want to gently scan the body from head to foot or from the toes to the top of the head or just have a more generalized sense of the body sitting. Noticing whatever comes to mind. But see if wherever your mind is making contact, you can also Use that awareness to infuse your experience with kindness, friendliness, warmth. Noticing any sensations. And noticing too, how when you meet those sensations with kindness and friendship, curiosity, friendliness, warmth, they relax in your presence. So really giving those sensations space to be felt. Allowing them to be there without any judgment. And using them to help bring you more fully into this present moment. If you want to linger longer in any particular part of the body, 
with any sensation, perhaps area of tightness or contraction, please do so. Always noticing and prioritizing the way that you're aware. Making sure that is wholesome. For those who'd like to begin the practice of loving kindness, we're going to start by recollecting some quality or characteristic, maybe even some deed that you've done, maybe an act of kindness, or particular strength that you really respect in yourself. And bring that to mind. Doesn't have to be anything very special. Maybe you simply gave your cat a saucer of milk or smiled at the neighbor. Maybe you respect your honesty your generosity, your kindness. Whatever it is, allow that recollection to gladden the heart. Maintaining a connection with the felt sense of your body, a sense of your own goodness. We're going to start by gently offering ourselves loving kindness. You may choose a phrase or two or three different phrases, but capture your deepest wish for yourself. such as, may I be happy. May I be free from suffering. May I be safe. May I be at peace. Take your time to choose phrases that really resonate for you. And then clearly, calmly, rhythmically repeating these phrases of loving kindness as though you are planting very delicate, precious seeds in the soil. And as you plant each seed, you listen in the space between each phrase. To where that intention is pointing the felt sense of loving kindness.
And maintaining the connection with your own body, maybe the area near the heart, in the chest, or any area of the body that feels fairly pleasant and relaxed. Evoke the image or the presence of someone in your life who's very dear to you. It may be a benefactor, such as a teacher, a best friend, a parent. Or even a historical figure like the Buddha. Or it may be a partner, a child, even a pet. Anybody whom the thought of brings a smile to your face and some gladness to your mind. Do you find it easy to generate thoughts and feelings of loving kindness towards? And just settle on somebody. Maybe imagining them in front of you. Or getting a felt sense of their presence, how it feels to be around them. Or maybe a recollection of the last time you were together. So that this person becomes a very clear recipient of your loving kindness. And again, maintaining contact with your own body. We're going to gently offer them the thoughts of loving kindness, as though planting seeds in the very fertile soil of your own heart. Imagining that person receiving your loving kindness. Relaxing at ease. If you find that you can fairly easily connect to the emotion, the feeling of loving kindness, you might want to lengthen the space between each phrase. 
And just allow the mind to really rest in that loving kindness. If you find your mind's more restless or agitated, or even that the phrases really help you to connect to that intention, then carry on again and again repeating these beautiful intentions of loving kindness. Trusting in the power of that intention to bring forth the limitless love of the heart. Now we're going to let the image or the presence of that person fade, bidding them farewell with a smile, maybe with folded hands, and staying connected to any feelings or intentions of loving kindness. Bring to mind all the people we're sitting with now. from all over the world, connected in our shared intention to bring forth the best of ourselves and to purify the heart, recognizing that we all wish happiness, safety, peace for ourselves. May we all be happy May we be free from suffering. May we be safe. May we be at peace. And imagining that metta, that loving kindness spreading from your own body, reaching all across the globe to the places each of us live, maybe in Belgium or in Italy, in America, and to all beings across the whole globe. Connected intimately in sickness, aging, and in death, all beings desiring their own happiness and shrinking from pain. May all beings, human or non-human, visible or invisible, far or near, wise people or deluded people, the rich and the poor, those who are suffering right now and also those who are happy fortunate, rejoicing in their lives. May all beings be happy. Free from suffering. Safe. At peace. And imagining all beings receiving your loving kindness, our shared loving kindness. 
and it relieving their suffering even for a moment. Bringing healing, safety, care. Now very gently start to bring in your awareness back to the country you're living in right now. Inside to your home, to this room, to your cushion. And again, connecting to your heart or to your physical body, wherever feels comfortable for you. And again, just kindly connecting back to your own intention, your own wish for happiness, for peace. Knowing that you're one among all beings. And again, very tenderly, sincerely, offer yourself love and kindness. as though bathing yourself in a golden light. Fully accepted for who you are, faults and all. Without judgment, without measure. So I'll end with a little uh, meta chant, so you can just allow it to sink in. Sabe sata, sabe pana, sabe buta, sabe purgala. Sabe hata bawa paria pana. Sabe iti ho. Sabe poisa. Sabe aria. Sabe anavia. Sabe dewa. Sabe Manusa, Sabe Winipadika, Aweva Hontu, Abya Paja Hontu, Aniga Hontu, Sukiatanam Parihavantu. Dukkha munjantu yadhalada sampatito mawe gachantu kamadaka Hopefully you'll be able to hear my little gong kindly offered to me from Burma. Which is an optional sign that you can open your eyes or not.
Okay. So we won't get any more YouTube video because my storage space is full, apparently. There we go. No limitless storage on my little tablet. <laughs> Good. Oh, no. This is also full. There we go. What to do? Okay, so I'll record the talk on here um, so that anybody can listen to it again, I think, after, after this session. I'm not quite sure how that works, but uh, we shall find out. So I'm going to record, but only up until the point where we ask questions so that I'm not recording you, so don't worry about that. It's just so anyone who wants to follow up later can do.